How to decorate mid-century modern? Now this may be the most important question today in the entire world. Though. And maybe that was a slight exaggeration, but in this video, I'm gonna take you down a journey, take you through a story that will make your jaw drop. Because mid-century modern is not dead, it's just beginning. Are you curious? Well, let's go. Oh no! Bring it in, bring it in. So what is our first play? Let's go with you simple shapes on one. Ready? And so you heard them. The first tip in play is to use simple shapes. Now, when designing for that mid-century modern style, you want to use pieces or lean toward pieces with clean, simple lines and organic style shapes. For instance, this piece behind me right here, clean, simple lines and organic shapes. Now, something else you want to look for, especially in chairs and dressers, is these tapered legs down at the bottom. Those legs that go kind of like this, at an angle they're caper down those are the money makers so in addition to those clean lines and organic shapes i want you to look out for rectangle solid edges for instance this piece behind me right here there are two danish credenzas but look how sharp those rectangular edges are that is something that is a staple in mid-century modern furniture now clean lines rectangular edges and simple organic curves all bring together and fall under that bucket of utilizing simple shapes to design your pieces of furniture and that is what mid-century modern decor is all about the more simple and bold you can make your space the better now mid-century is not all about the status quo so i want you to do is take those simple shapes mix them with some of your personality and let your personality shine through this is all about finding the type of design and style that appeals to you sprinkling in a little bit of mid-century modern design All right, so since that last play worked very, very well, you go that way, you go this way, we're gonna go with the play, use fun mid-century modern colors. Use fun mid-century modern colors on one-on-one, -on -one. ready? Great. Now, during the mid-century modern time period, there was a fun expression by utilizing bold and strong colors, and that's my tip to you. Utilize that mid-century modern color palette to get that bold expression that you desire. By utilizing mustard yellows, warm oranges and reds, teals, and and that avocado green mid-century modern designers not only made their space energetic but it was a great sense of personality for each person now i know i just mentioned utilizing those bold colors to influence your mid-century modern space but do me a favor build continuity within your room for instance let's just say you choose that warm orange as an accent piece in the back as an accent wall do me a favor and repeat that throughout the space for instance get an orange lamp get an orange pillow this will do wonders in creating uniform and continuity in your space, which is also seen a lot in that mid-century modern era. Let's go! Woo! So that last play worked so well, we scored. So this is what we're gonna do this time. We're gonna use geometric shapes on one on one. Use geometric patterns. That is my tip to you. Now, during the mid-century modern time period, we saw a heavy use of geometric shapes and patterns. And I think this is not only a great way to brighten up your space, but to sprinkle in a little bit of that mid-century modern design that you are looking for. Now, ways you can use geometric shapes, stay with me. Number one. One, include pillows with geometric patterns, utilize rugs that have geometric patterns, and if you're feeling really spicy, utilize a large or utilize wallpaper. Have an accent wall with geometric patterns. That's where you get the money. That's where the money shot is. Now, if you're super bold and courageous, utilize geometric patterns with the bold colors that I just forementioned. That's, that's, that's for another subject. From my experience in looking at geometric patterns, let's just say you have no idea where to start. You're like, I like, you know, geometric patterns, but I don't know who to look out for. A great mid-century modern artist for the time period is Alex Calder. If you want an idea or want to utilize some geometric shapes do some research on that individual he does a great job of making sculptural pieces utilizing those geometric shapes that i just made. all right y'all so they're starting to get a hold of our place so we're gonna throw something at them they have never seen before 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the right materials. That's the play name. Using the right materials. And instead of on one, we're gonna do it on two. So use the right materials on two. Ready? Yep, you heard them. Tip number four is use the right materials. Now, in talking about mid-century modern furniture and the right materials, I'm about to take you back to post-World War where designers were looking for a way to innovate furniture and there was a shortage of materials. Here comes the power couple, Ray and Charles Eames, creating a different style of materials because there was lack thereof. So, instead of using the traditional materials such as wood, metal, they came up with some new things such as fiberglass, molded plastics, and things like that that elevated and innovated the mid-century modern design scene as we see today. Now, those are my main tips when it comes to decorating a space with that mid-century modern style. Now, I would be remiss if I not did not tell you about utilizing and the use of bold sculptural pieces that influence, positively influence your space today. Not only are these pieces additive, but they give you an amazing shape, form, and function that will elevate your space 10 times out of 10. Now, to now, to be completely transparent, some of these pieces are on the pricier end, but you can find some great deals a little later when I tell you what places to look for on these specific, amazing, beautiful pieces. Now, some of these pieces that I want to talk about include the Eames chair, the Nagoji table, the Bertoa bird chair, the diamond chair, the tulip table by Saarinen, and the Nelson bubble Land. If you're able to purchase one of these items, man, not only are you winning, <laughs> but you will have an amazing, amazing, and amazing. I know I keep saying amazing three times because that's my thing. You have an amazing piece of mid-century modern furniture that will go well in your mid-century modern design space. And if you don't believe me, buy one and put it in your space and then you're like, hey, that guy was right. Now here's the million dollar question. I know I just gave you a ton of tips on how to design this mid-century modern style, but where the heck do you find these items? And to those looking for the answer to that question, I must first categorize these items into two buckets. Number one, it's your higher price and your lower price. And number two, it's your vintage mid-century modern from that time period. And it's your current mid-century modern furniture that looks similar to that time period. There's a difference. And wherever closer you want on that spectrum, I'm gonna give you different places to look for those items. Now, I will say there are pros and cons to both. It just depends on what you're looking for. Now, those looking for that original mid-century modern vintage pieces, I will say this. It can be a little harder to find that exact piece you're looking for, but once you find it, it's very, very fulfilling and very rewarding. But for those have that have a smaller budget looking for these original pieces, places to look for, number one, thrift store is an amazing place. And if you can find something there for cheap, there you go. It's a win-win. Number two, garage sales. Sometimes if you get to certain places at the right time, you can find that piece you're looking for. And the third stop that I I would say that you can find pretty good deals is estate sales. If you go to one of those three places, you're bound to find a cheap vintage Mrs. Your Modern piece. Now for those in that medium budget range, I would say the number one place to go to is antique stores. Now they have a great variety of items and they potentially may have that exact piece you're looking for. Sometimes it just depends on that antique store. Now, for those who are in that higher budget range and looking for those vintage mid-century modern pieces, the places that I would suggest, number one, Cherish, and number two, First Dibs. These are online sites that you can click and choose your exact piece that you want. That's something that's different than the other places I just explained. If you want a mid-century modern Bassett Hutch, you literally type that in these websites and you can find all the locations that have that exact piece. Now, they're more expensive, but if you're looking for the exact staple piece and you can't find it, go to those places. Now, for those looking for that mid-century modern file, Style, but want to use the furniture up to date here are the places for you and i'm going to start with the cheapest and the most expensive cheapest places number one walmart two ikea and number three target those big box retail places have a good sense of mid your modern furniture if you want to find a great deal go to those on the medium end on the mid-level budget end the place to look for is wayfair i've been on there several times and found several of the mid your modern design and influenced items on there for pretty decent prices and for those with a larger budget who want to find really cool period correct pieces the places i was just number one west elm and number two design within reach you can find amazing pieces of new and innovative furniture today with that mid-century modern influence style let's go we won 
we had some amazing play calls, amazing plays. Everything worked out. We utilized our resources and we won the game. When I started this video, I had one goal in mind and that's for you all out there watching to take just one small nugget, apply it to your personal space and elevate your mid-century modern design style. And if you've done that, woo, I'm winning because my job and I'm here to help preserve mid-century modern interior design. Like I said, mid-century modern is not dead. It's only the beginning. And if you believe that too, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and like this. But I will say this, if you're interested in learning more about design trends, interior design trends that are popular in the year 2024, check this video out right here. Something that's different about this video than other videos on the internet is that I utilize and include mid-century modern in these interior design styles. So check it out right here. And if you found that this video gave you any value, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. There's more coming. And like always,